Today I'm going to show you an amazing trick to memorize your upper nine times tables. And it's only going to take 15 minutes. This easy to learn system is called Times Tales, which uses stories to trick your brain into remembering the answers to multiplication problems. As you watch the video, don't try to figure out how this memory trick works, just learn the stories. By step four, it will all make sense. And you'll realize those stories are actually hidden multiplication problems and their answers. By the end of this 15 minute video, you will absolutely have the upper nine times tables memorized. And here's the best part, you won't forget the answers. Times Tales is by far the easiest and most fun way to get your times tables mastered fast. Are you ready to start? Hi, I'm Hannah, your host. You are about to go on a learning adventure into the times tales. And by the end of this video, you will know your upper times tables in a snap. This may not be the traditional way to learning your times tables, but I can assure you it is the fastest and definitely the most fun. For the next 30 minutes, I will guide you through the six easy steps of part one. As you begin to go through the first steps of the program, don't try to figure out how Times Tells works, just learn the stories. By step four, everything will start to make sense and you'll realize those stories you just learned are really hidden multiplication problems. Times Tells DVD is divided into two parts, which takes about 30 minutes each to complete. Begin with part one and work through all six steps of the program. I recommend allowing at least one week after completing part one, before beginning part two. During this time, the multiplication problems can be reviewed and practiced by utilizing the flashcard tests and other reinforcements located on the printable CD. The first step to learning the times tells is to get to know each character and the number they represent. This boy represents the sixth grade class. Do you notice their heads are shaped like the number six? I want to introduce you to Mrs. Week. We call her that because she looks like a seven. And we all know there's seven days in a week. There is also a Mr. Week, but you won't see him unless he is with his wife, Mrs. Week. This is Mrs. Snowman. Don't you think she looks a lot like the number eight? She also has a husband, Mr. Snowman, but you will only see him when he's with his sweetheart, Mrs. Snowman. This treehouse is our final character in the tales you are about to learn. If you look closely, you can see the number nine within the tree. Now it's time to see if you can remember the characters. When the questions come up, see if you can answer before the time runs out. What is this character's name? What is this boy a part of?
What is the name of this? Name this character. Now that you know the characters, you are ready to move on to the next step. There were two tree houses. The first tree house grew eight apples, and the second grew only one apple. Have you ever seen a tree house in an apple tree before? I wonder what caused one tree to grow eight apples while the other tree grew only one. Don't forget, there were two tree houses. The first tree house grew eight apples, and the second grew only one apple. Mrs. Week went to the tree house and raked up six bags of leaves by three o'clock. Six bags of leaves? That's a lot of work. Why do you think she had to finish raking up those six bags of leaves by three o'clock? Ooh, it's three o'clock. I have to go. I guess Mrs. Week had to be somewhere by three o'clock. Remember, Mrs. Week went to the treehouse and raked up six bags of leaves by three o'clock. The sixth grade class went to the treehouse to feed five pounds of bananas to four monkeys. Do you think five pounds of bananas is enough for those four monkeys? Who wants bananas? Those monkeys look hungry. That's probably why the sixth grade class came to feed them. Do you suppose those four monkeys live in the treehouse? Don't forget, the sixth grade class went to the treehouse to feed five pounds of bananas to four monkeys. Mrs. Snowman went to the treehouse and knocked seven times on two doors. I wonder who lives there. Maybe it's a friend. Seven times is a lot of knocking. It looks like no one's home. Do you know why she knocked on two doors? Hello, anybody home? She also went to the back door. I guess no one's home. Hmm. Don't forget, Mrs. Snowman went to the treehouse and knocked seven times on two doors. Now it's time to see if you can remember the times tales. When the questions come up, see if you can answer before the time runs out. You will have approximately three to five seconds to answer each question. Good luck. Who raked the leaves at the treehouse? Mrs. Week. How many bags of leaves did she rake? Six bags of leaves. What time did she finish raking?
she finished at 3 o'clock. There were two tree houses. What did they grow? They grew apples. How many apples did the first tree house grow? Eight apples. How many apples did the second tree house grow? It grew only one apple. Who went to the tree house to feed the monkeys? The sixth grade class. How many pounds of bananas did they bring? Five pounds of bananas. How many monkeys were there? Four monkeys. Who was knocking on the doors at the tree house? Mrs. Snowman. How many times did she knock? She knocked seven times. How many doors did she knock on? Two doors. How'd you do? If you had trouble with any of the questions, you need to go back and review the stories you got stuck on. But if you got all the questions right, you are ready to move on to the next step. When you hear this sound, pause the video and say the story out loud. Then hit play and see if you got it right. Don't forget, it's very important that you say the story in the proper order. Let's begin. Mrs. Week went to the treehouse and raked up six bags of leaves by three o'clock. There were two tree houses. The first tree house grew eight apples and the second grew only one apple. Mrs. Snowman went to the tree house and knocked seven times on two doors. The sixth grade class went to the tree house to feed five pounds of bananas to four monkeys. Now that you know the stories, it's time to try the flashcards. Did you know there's a multiplication problem hiding in each story you just learned? Are you ready to find them? Let's see how it works with the practice flashcards. This flashcard is for the multiplication problem 7 times 9. Remember, Mrs. Week represents the number 7 and the treehouse number 9. You might think you don't know the answer, but you do. The answer is hiding in the story. To solve this multiplication problem, all you have to do is remember the times tale that had Mrs. Week and the treehouse. There was only one story with both of those characters. Mrs. Week went to the treehouse and raked up six bags of leaves by three o'clock. Seven times nine is 63. Now it's your turn to try the flashcards. When you hear this sound, Pause the video and say the answer to the flashcard out loud. Then hit play and see if you got it right. 
Remember, all you have to do is to think of the story that goes with the two characters in the flashcard. The answer is hiding in the story. And since you know the story, you know the answer. Let's begin. Eight times nine. Seventy-two. Seven times nine. Sixty-three. Nine times nine. Eighty-one. Nine times six. Fifty-four. Now let's try the flashcards without the symbols. When the flashcards come up, see if you can answer before the time runs out. Now that you've mastered the multiplication problems, let's try division. How'd you do? If you had trouble answering any of the flashcards, you will need to go through them again. But if you answered all of them correctly, you are ready to move on to the next step. Now wasn't that easy? Now that you know this trick, you can use it to memorize just about anything. If you want to learn all the upper times tables this way, just go to timestales.com where you can get the full program. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.